Valorant's patch 7.4 is out, here's what's new. I made a similar video the other day, but now I've got two perspectives to better show off these changes, and we also have some additional things to take a look at. So jumping right into it, Breach's Aftershock now only has two ticks instead of three, but each tick will now deal 80 damage rather than 60. Breach's ultimate has been nerfed, going from 8 points up to 9, and Brimstone's ultimate also got nerfed, going from 7 points up to 8. Fade's Prowler got a minor nerf in this update, now it will take slightly longer to re-equip your gun after using this ability. Gecko's Mosh Pit has been buffed, and it will now deal 10 damage per second before exploding. The patch notes say 10 DPS, but it currently does more than that, and it can also destroy Kildoy's Lockdown again. That's probably bugged for now, but I figured it was worth mentioning. Some more changes to Gecko include that his Wingman now only has 80 HP instead of 100, and Thrasher's Explosion has had a visual update, so it's easy to understand the area of effect. Kildra's Lockdown has been nerfed, going from 8 ultimate points up to 9, and Omen's Paranoia got a slight nerf in this patch, as you can no longer control the movement speed when casting it. Sky got a few nerfs, firstly her Flash has a shorter duration so you can't fly it as far, and her Dog now only has 80 HP instead of 100. Sky's Ultimate was also nerfed, it's gone from 7 points up to 8, and now the health of each Seeker is 120 instead of 150. Sova's Recon Bolt got nerfed, it now only has 2 scans rather than 3, and Viper's ultimate has been nerfed once again, going from 8 points up to 9. Astra has a few changes. Firstly, her gravity well now takes more than twice as long to start up, and the duration was also decreased. To balance that out, her stun now has a faster startup time, and her cosmic divide will completely block audio rather than just muffling it. Finally, we come to the jet changes. Her dash window has gone from 12 seconds down to 7.5 seconds, and the activation windup is longer. So that's the delay from first activating the ability until when you can actually dash. Next, her Cloud Burst has gone from 4.5 seconds down to 2.5 seconds, and it will also take slightly longer to re-equip your gun after using this ability. Jet now only has one updraft instead of two, and her ultimate has gone from 7 points up to 8. Other than the agent changes, there's a few more things in this patch. For starters, both Fracture and Pearl have been removed from competitive and unrated queues. To replace them, Breeze is coming back to the map pool, it's received a few updates, and on top of that, we have a new map called Sunset. It'll join competitive in like 7 days from now, and in the meantime, you'll be able to play it in this handy Sunset-only Swiftplay queue. Premier is also fully releasing in this act, and now has updated divisions, which I think are a lot better. And other than that, it's mostly just UI improvements and bug fixes. You can pause and read there. So that's it for patch 7.4. Obviously a lot to take in here with all the agent changes, especially the jet nerf, and then also the map pool updates as well. But let me know what you guys think of this new act.